Mark, ultimately, ultimately today, do you think you know on another day it could have been a different story with four goals, four goal wind efforts cleared off the line? Uh, not really. I think you know we lost the game fair and square. I think today um, uh, they were better on the ball. They were sort of um, more aggressive. Um, as a team, they were more effective as a team. You know, we never really got it going um, at any point. Even although we um, ended up forcing a few chances from, you know, from set plays and from, 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 from longer, deeper free kicks, that sort of thing. So, uh, no, I don't, I don't think really that was terribly significant. They defended that well. You know, they were determined in defence. You know, to clear those balls off the line, give them credit for that. We've got to get it over the line. That's our job, and we didn't manage it. So, no, I think we were well beaten today. Um, I was disappointed with the nature of the goals, of course. The first one down the side of us when we've got three centre halves. The second one, you know, a header from a corner kick close in. Um, ben said he was blocked, but you know, I felt that um, you know, he, he, you know, he's got, he, he shouldn't be blocked. You know, he's a big, strong boy. Shouldn't be letting people block them. We've got to be more aggressive, and I think that was part of it today that they were more aggressive than us. We keep touching on the league table and just how tight it always is. I lost here today, but still in the top six, and it's, it really sums up just how tight it is. It's going to be hard again though next week. I think I think that's the thing. I think the relevance of being in the top six at this stage is is, is irrelevant. You know, um, I think the important thing is the distance between us and the ones. The bottom, and I think it's only a couple of points. So that's the important thing. We've got to try, eventually, trying to put some points on the board to to, to open up some distance uh, between us and the teams at the bottom. So, you know, next week we've got a very difficult game at home to Celtic, and then we've got a big December. You know, so you know we, we we're a team that you know can lose and get on with it, and uh, can win and not get too carried away, which is exactly how we approach each game. So. You know, next week we have a very difficult game, game at home, but you know we're looking forward to December as well. Importantly, it is back at home. The away form has been a wee bit difficult. Obviously, Tynecastle, very tough, tough place to come. Going forward at home next week, are you a tough opposition? Fancy chances there? Well, I fancy my chances. You know, how can you say you fancy your chances? You no, know, Celtic are by far um, the best team in Scotland at this, this moment in time. You know, as they have been for the last couple of seasons, and they're even improved this season. So, you know, it'll be a hugely big challenge, huge big challenge for us next Saturday, you know, but one that we can relish you know, we're playing well at home um, you know, it's like I say, you know, we're prepared to go and have a go and if we win we win, if we lose we lose and then we'll go on to the next game so I think the boys have just got to experience it you know, they want to play, who doesn't want to play against Celtic who doesn't want to play against Hearts and Tynecastle these are the places that you do want to be playing, so you know, Celtic at home next week is a brilliant game for us to have um, and you know, particularly the, the, the young players coming in who haven't experienced that yet, you know, it, the new players, you know, who have come up from from down south in the summer and are doing really quite well, you know, they've got every reason to look forward to that. And just a quick one on Ben Hennigan, he had to get his head strapped up. How's he looking? Have you heard much there as to how he's feeling? No, I just got a bump in the head and there was a wee cut. Ben gets on with it. That's one thing about him. He's a, an honest lad and he's uh, got a great, great um, ethic. You know, he'll take a knock and get on with it for the team. Um, he'll be fine. You know, he's a bit of a bit of a head knock and I think he's a couple of stitches. Well, thanks again for your time, Mark. Cheers.